How did that passion hit you? Uh, did you race go-karts? Share with the fans, share with us, you know, the kind of the Ryan Vargas story. Yeah. So it, uh, to start it off, no, my, none of my family actually raced. Um, none of my family really had any interest. Uh, my dad watched NASCAR on the weekends. And I remember when I was eight, nine years old, I used to pick on him because he was watching a, a sport where guys turned left all day. I kid you not. That's what I used to do. Now you flash forward to now and it's just kind of really funny. Um, but it, it took me sitting down with my dad and actually watching the races. And then I really just started kind of growing a love for it, kind of learning about the different storylines, the comers and goers, who would win, the guys who were winning, the underdogs, you know, all that stuff. And then I remember and what really started it off was when I was really young. I was a big I loved Speed Channel. I'd wake up at 5 a.m. to watch you know, whatever highlights there were, whether it was off-road trucks, monster trucks, NASCAR, IMSA, it was, that was what I did. And I remember my dad took an Irwindale Speedway back in 2010. Um, I was nine years old at the time. And uh, he, we went there and saw one of the recess aides from my elementary school. And I'm like, what the heck, why are you here? You exist outside of school. Um, and <laughs> he, I, I realized, she tells me, she's like, yeah, my son races. We're actually selling a, our car and it's a little Bandolero race car. Um, and for those who don't know, Baylor race cars are like third scale stock car, stock cars that kids eight and up can drive. And that was, you know, to me was like, it was like, oh my gosh, this is something, this is what I want to do because I did all the other sports. I did baseball, basketball, football, soccer, you name it. I played it. Um, and I played the same position in all, in all of them, which is this, which I mean, like you guys probably didn't know this. There is a position that is in all of them. That is bench. That was horrible. <laughs> it, it, it was, was say, what, I, what position is that <laughs> yeah i i suck at sports i am horrible and honestly it bores me to death like you guys were talking football and i can't even tell you which league is whatever it was um but it's i, I just knew i liked racing and so we we got it before we bought the car we did a test i hit the wall the first lap and I, we fixed the car and we went back out and i remember the drive the drive home my dad you know like I said, I was 10 years old, turning 11 at the time. And, you know, so this is 2011. And my dad, we're driving home from Orange Shore Speedway, which is a fantastic short track, by the way. Driving home, about a 40-minute drive. My dad tells me, he says, you have this entire drive to let me know what you want to do. We could either race, but if we do this, we're going to make you a champion. Or we don't race. We go to K1, have some fun on the weekends, but you focus on doing school and all that. Took about five minutes, and I said I wanted to race. and since then it was just kind of onward and upward um ran bandoleros for three years ran won the state championship three years in a row tied for the national title in 2014 moved up to street stocks when i was 14 years old then then got uh, an opportunity of a lifetime to run late models for dave eshelman he unfortunately passed uh this most recent year um when i was 15 and then just continued moving up the ranks and just meeting the right people at the right time um i mean i got my first super late model ride because Dave was there when I won my first ever street stock race. Hadn't won a street stock race until the day he was there. And it opened up a door for me to race super late models. So just continue moving up the ladder and uh, here we are today. <laughs>